All of Canada's frontline Navy frigates have had serious mold problems, something that has routinely affected the health of sailors deployed overseas, a CBC News investigation has determined. The Navy has struggled to deal with the blight in the ventilation systems of the warship since it was first documented aboard HMCS Street. John's in the fall of 2011, but a former senior non-commissioned officer says his repeated pleas to fix the situation fell on deaf ears. In fact, former Chief Petty Officer Patrick McLaughlin claims the design flaw could have been entirely rectified during the recent life extension program for the frigates, but federal officials deemed the cost $1.2 million per ship to be too much. A series of documents and videos obtained by CBC News show not only mold-crusted vents, filters, ducts and even food stores, but also serious safety hazards resulting from an extraordinary buildup of condensation, which spills and splashes over electrical panels. McLaughlin, who retired from the Navy in 2005 but worked as a civilian in the Naval Engineering Section of National Defense Headquarters until 2013, says he raised alarm bells time and again about the problem. But he says he was told there was no money in either the overhaul budget or the ongoing maintenance program to correct the problem. The Navy is broke, McLaughlin told CBC News in an exclusive interview. We don't have money to buy parts. The Navy is broke when it comes to maintenance, the Navy is 100% broke. The commander of the East Coast Fleet, Commodore Craig Baines, acknowledged mold is a fleet-wide concern, but said the Navy has been proactive to come up with a solution outside of the refit program. It has now instituted an engineering fix on 10 of the 12 frigates, but that repair work will be subject to further evaluation, he said. We're going to see what the result is of our engineering changes and then assess whether we still have a problem or not, Baines said. The delay has not been for a lack of funding but rather, Baines said, was a matter of finding the right technical solution. We have absolutely no concern about the mold in the ships, Baines told CBC News in an interview. What we do have is a concern about is making sure we provide the safest environment possible for our sailors. And that's why we're doing as much as we possibly can to make sure that the mold is reduced. The Navy has been dealing with the problem for almost five years. An engineering team was dispatched in 2011 to investigate persistent unsatisfactory status reports from the street. Johns, which was launched in the mid-1990s and is therefore among the newest of the patrol frigates. What they discovered shocked them. There was mold and moisture throughout the ship, said a November 30, 2011, internal presentation obtained by CBC News. The precision air conditioning units were not effectively dehumidifying the ship, creating a literal flood of moisture buildup within the system, which led to conditions for harboring respiratory bacteria and potential crew-wide health issues. The Navy went further and commissioned an independent report that found the ventilation system was showing signs of severe water retention, and this poses a significant health risk to ship's crew.